She's one of the most important civil rights leaders in Texas history, and her influence lives on in more than just her name. In this week's Ones for Texas, Jennifer Lindgren shows us how Juanita Kraft empowered young people to fight for equality. Her legacy stands tall. The first black woman to vote in Dallas County, she led the cause to desegregate schools and the State Fair of Texas, a tireless advocate for equal pay and health care. Her legacy is really about civil rights. To Diane Ragsdale, Juanita Kraft is an inspiration. I think she taught me, Diane, when you get up in the morning, you need to think about what you can do to make a difference in the lives of others today and every day. And that is the key thing. Ragsdale, the activist who served on the Dallas City Council from 1984 to 1991, grew up learning from Juanita Kraft. Ellington spent time in this house. Martin Luther King spent time in this house. Kraft's home on Warren Avenue was a place for young people to gather. She trained youth uh, to address that which is unjust. Uh, she trained youth to be activists. At 11 years old, Ragsdale and her sister would go to NAACP meetings every Saturday and walk door to door with adult members registering people to vote. Kraft organized 182 chapters of the NAACP Youth Council throughout the state. If we really want to keep her legacy alive, that's what we need to do. Ragsdale says not only remember Juanita Kraft's name, but do the work. My journey uh, uh, was started under her leadership toward justice and, and, and as an activist. I am who I am in significant part because of Mrs. Juanita Kraft. In Dallas, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News. Juanita Kraft passed away in 1985. The home where she lived for 50 years is a Dallas landmark, but it is in great need of repair. A pipe burst last year, flooding the property, and a fund is set up through the city to help collect donations.